last year, tough to duplicate. Grant, you just wonder what he's got in store for an encore. And so they are ready to get rocking here in their first game of the season. Well, two great coaches. They know how to motivate. They know how to inspire. And they have high expectations this season for their ball club. Our officials here. We've got a good group. Kip, Kip Kissinger, Mike Greenstein, and Randy Richardson as we are off and running here in Las Vegas. Just watch that incredible upset on the women's side. Colorado knocking off the defending champs. We have already had some fireworks. This is Perry trying to knife into the paint against that stingy USC defense and all kinds of physicality. And Arthur Kaluma earns a trip to the free throw line as Kansas State aggressive here at the start. And you talk about that stingy defense. That's been a staple for Andy Enfield and the success they've had. The way they get after it, they compete on that end. And this year you add DJ Rodman was an all Pac-12 defensive player. He's in the starting lineup. Obviously, we know Kobe Johnson would be a candidate to be possibly defensive player of the year in conference. So if you don't play defense, you don't play for Andy Enfield. And early on, Kansas State able to get to the paint and get to the line here. And it'll be interesting to see how they handle that pressure. Arthur Kaluma grew up in Glendale, Arizona. Last two years at Creighton. What a run he had there. Becoming one of the top players in that conference. How does he fit in with this Kansas State team? They just line up for Kansas State. They can switch a lot on the perimeter. Multiple guys can defend. And of course, they want to get the rebound and get out and run. That's their game. That was Bergie Ellis with a stunning decision for him to come back to USC. Everyone expected he was going pro after last year. That shot turned back. Cam Carter unable to get it off cleanly. And that interior Trojans defense already on full display. Little float at that time by Kobe Johnson while going. The rebound corralled by David Gasson, the senior. Here's Kaluma. So much in his game. Circus shot. That nearly went. And Carter. Unable to get it off cleanly. And that interior Trojans defense already on full display. Little float at that time by Kobe Johnson while going. The rebound corralled by David Gasson, the senior. Here's Kaluma. So much in his game. Circus shot. That nearly went. And Paluma very quickly is going to get himself to the free throw line for his third and fourth at the strike. So I said it in the opening, he's energetic. And he's a, a strong guy. He attacks. Obviously, you know that Joshua Morgan, one of the top shot blockers in college basketball, is back there anchoring the defense. And he is going to be attacking all night. Paluma, I anticipate, will have a, a field day at the free throw line because of how he plays. Do you just consider the, the makeup of this Kansas State team that uh, Jerome Tang had last year. Had the two big guys. Of course, Marquise Noel, such a, a natural leader, score, everything that he did, the assists, and Keontae Johnson. You lose both of those two guys who they depended on so much. This is more of a, a potentially well-rounded team and a balance that maybe they didn't have. And so Jerome Tang tries to figure out what he's got with this group. Well, I think about it. last year, they only had two returning players on that team, and they got to the Elite Eight. And uh, so he is accustomed to figuring things out, new players, but you're right, the balance is there. And what a pass inside. DJ Rodman finding an open Joshua Morgan. DJ Rodman coming over from Washington State, son of the Hall of Famer. Young kid who they really feel like will help them with both ends of the play, especially here as Kaluma misfires on a three offensive rebound pulled by Desan, and the shot clock resets. So early stages, couple of minutes gone by. This is Perry, now to Carter. Seven on the timer. Carter turns to Carter, turn back. And Joshua Morgan letting him hear about it. And letting him hear it, he is. I mean, just the instincts there, how he's hunting that shot. Quick off the ground, great timing. That's that into the fifth row. All Pac-12 defensive performer, and you're starting to see why early in this game. He was top 20 in block shots last year. Kansas State gets it to Carter, straight away three, no. They still haven't hit a basket. Two and a half minutes into the game. As Kansas State has missed its first six. 
Trojans turnover, a little careless with the basketball on the perimeter. Boogie Ellis right there. I don't know if he saw the official, but obviously his experience, his leadership going to be counted on by Andy Enfield. And I thought his decision making last year with the ball so much better. Certainly not there on that play. Three pointer won't go from Perry. Taj Manning had a chance. Strong move to the cup. That is Collier. As the freshman gets his first points. You see, he gets the rebound. Now he just. The speed right there, and then the strength, the concentration. I mean, you're seeing why he's projected to be such a great pro at the next level. Has another motor, another switch there. And he gets out in transition. His head is up, downhill, so hard to defend. 6'5, 210 pounds at the point guard position. Unbelievable. From Atlanta, pride of Wheeler High School. Co-MVP at the McDonald's All-American game. And the infield loves how he pushes the pace. Grant, you alluded to it. Just constantly puts the pressure on opposing defenses. How quickly does his game translate? And so the careless is now both sides continues. Gassan turns it over. Right now, the Trojans defense really forcing Kansas State to extend their offense execution. A little miss timing right there, but both teams maybe a little nervous right now. Big, big time opponents going at it here early this season. Holly runs the point. Pass deflected. They get it to Johnson in the corner. Here's Rodman. Puts it in the deck. Shot. A little bit too much. And the rebound pulled by Kaluma. It's his third rebound already. Kaluma knocked away, swarming Trojans defense. Collier taking flight, lays it in. The Trojans' ability, defense to offense, you don't get back. They score quickly. Here comes Perry, knifes into the paint. But that high pressure USC defense has been impressive here at the start. Kaluma puts it on the deck. Taking on two and somehow banks it in. And that was a tough shot right there. And obviously Joshua Morgan coming over. Kaluma able to finish. Stayed impressive attacking, getting downhill. Average nearly 12 points per game for Clayton last year. Johnson underneath trying to get it to Morgan. Deflected out of bounds by Carter. We got some high flyers here at the start at both ends of the floor. And defense right now creating opportunities on offense. Kaya in the open court. To play for USC this year at some point. And of course, guys, there's the long term goal of LeBron before ending his legendary career playing alongside both sons. It's one day at a time, it's one step at a time, but he is making great progress and the team loves having him around. Riley, great stuff. What a shot there by Ellis. Long three. Just great to see Bronny. Back with his teammates, attending classes. What a great moment with his mother, Savannah, and his brother. As, uh, he slowly continues on his road back to, to join his team. And I agree with you both. I mean, just all that happened over the summer. You know, all concerned about his health and safety, but the improvement is better now. He's with his team. We all hope that he can get back and play with USC at some point this year. Sounds like from all indications that possibly could happen. Here, Grant, you add him to this mix that we are seeing early on, this impressive USC start. He's a smart player, great field, plays defense, and shoots the basketball, so he'll, he'll fit in very well with this coaching team. There's Perry on a three. And one shot, no good. So Kansas State's ragged offensive play continues. They're one of ten here at the start. And big time USC starting to catch fire. They hit four or five. Collier! Not afraid of the bright lights. What a start for the freshman. So Collier has hit all three of his shots to start. He's got seven points, Grant, in his first five minutes. And Spear, look at this. There's a little push right there. The strength to create some separation. Gets to his spot in the mid-range. 
under control, just a great feel. And when he puts that ball on the floor, I mean, you really got to be careful because he comes at you so strong. But I love his composure and his, his feel for the game. USC last year, 22 and 11, 14 wins in Pac-12 play. It was their fourth consecutive 20-win season. First time that's ever happened in school history. As Andy Enfield continues to take this program to new heights. And that team last year was more of a half-court team. But this year with Talia and, and the players they brought in. As inside, Katani Wright with the easy two. But with this team, man, Andy Enfield wants to get out. Play in transition, more pace, and of course, continue with that stifling defense. And good look at drive and finish going and finish there to the rack. First player other than Kaluma to score a point if you've just joined us. Collier three pointer at that time. That's his first miss. We've got corralled by Carter ahead of the field to Kaluma, forces his way to the cup, and he's going to shoot more free throws. Right on that last play there. Look at the screen inside. McNair set, sets a screen. Johnny Wright could not come over on that drive to help. Just a great read and finish by Finister getting to the rim for the easy two. And how about Kaluma? I mean, he's just constantly attacking. He initiated the con con contact and forced the officials to make that call. There was a lot of schools lining up for his services after he withdrew his name from the NBA draft. Interest from all the big blue chip programs you'd expect in Tucky, Alabama, Texas. Got a chance to play for Uganda's national team, but what a career he's had. Big East All Freshman team a couple of years ago. Such a big piece for that Creighton team in the NCAA tournament. Second free throw is no good, and it's last touched by Finister, and belongs to USC. And with Kaya out of the game now for USC, Boogie Ellis now handles the point guard responsibilities. Ellis setting the table there for Rodman. Rodman following his own miss. That pass hit the netting, and so USC turns it over again. Here comes Day Day Ames into the game. And so the bounce pass underneath for Jarrell Colbert for Kansas State. And again, turns it over their fourth. And look at that. Colbert receives it. Two guys are right on him, forcing that turnover. The activity, the active hands on defense. USC basketball, Jerome Tang, not happy right now with his offensive execution of his ball club. Jerome Tang, last year's Naismith National Coach of the Year. So Coach of the Year honors in the Big 12, just one of the stunning runs we've seen in the big dance in recent memory. I mean, how about that, though? your first year as a head coach, and your National Coach of the Year, just an incredible team, incredible season, an incredible man. It's crazy to think of a one run away from the Final Four trip as the Wildcats turned it over. Ames in front of that USC bench. And you've seen a lot of substitutions right now. Both teams will go deep into their bench when you play at this frenetic pace. A lot of defense getting out in transition. You have to sub guys in to stay fresh as Isaiah Collier checks back into the game. You know, it was funny. We, we had a chance to spend some minutes with uh, with Jerome Tang before the game, and we asked him replacing a kid like Noel, the leadership. Who takes up some of that role? And he said, we're, we're accepting applications. <laughs> I can't answer that question yet. Noel was a special player, a special leader for that ball club. This guy here, Cam Carter, he's expected to have a more expanded role for this team. Catch and shoot. That is Perry, and he is bumped. This will be on Kajani Wright. And so Tyler Perry, the North Texas transfer, will shoot three free throws. And I like right there, cer certainly you appreciate the closeout by Wright. You have to be smart with that. But Kansas State, they got the rebound. They got up the court before USC's defense can get set. And they're not afraid to take quick shots, which they did right there, drawing that foul, Tyler Perry. So here is Perry, the last two years at North Texas. Prolific scorer last year. He averaged better than 17 points per game. 
He's the player of the year in Conference USA, fourth in that conference in scoring. Well, you know, we were here yesterday at practice. You, you weren't. Yeah, uh, I was a little late. We were doing the football, <laughs> so we understand. But, I mean, watching him shoot his three-point, I, I, I promise you, I, I didn't see him miss. Mm. Like, he can flat out shoot the basketball. Tyler Perry is something special. Tyler, what do you have? I wanted to let that one play out. <laughs> Just to your point on Perry, I asked Coach, I said, I, I heard that you have said publicly that he is the best shooter in America. Is that true, or was that... Just you excited one day? He said, absolutely no question about it. I stand by what I said. Best shooter in America. And not only does he have the green light as he pulls up from deep, but everyone on this team has a green light. You talk about sharing the basketball, moving fast, and collective effort. That's going to be everyone on the five minutes. My goodness. Colbert. That was a volleyball spike. That was. Karch Karai right there. Look at that. <laughs> Man. Sellers trying to sneak in. Holy smokes. But just to get back to Ali's point, they need some of these players to step in quickly and get acclimated. Grant, as they try to build off what they did last year, that's a tall task considering what that Wildcats team was able to accomplish. That one put away nearly stolen by Carter. Pull up Johnson. And this is going to be a push. Loose ball foul against Harrison Hornery. Well, that's why you schedule a tough opponent early in USC. You, you, you want to find out who you are, both clubs really, but Jerome Tang. Wanting to understand who these guys are, put them in different situations. Man, these coaches are still learning who these guys are, what's their identity, what's their personality. And right now, defensively for Kansas State, it's kind of a blue collar mentality scrappy get after it as USC comes out with a little three quarter court pressure Bobcats are reset to Kaluma now to Ames shows some of that nifty handle fades can't hit offensive rebound Carter Perry from deep there's been a lid on that basket so far Kansas State is 2 of 15 from the field, and they have missed all six from deep. But they're only down four on TNT. Them, so they still have that green light. It's not the green light, it's the purple light. <laughs> but, no, I mean, he, he, he saw that last year in the tournament when America fell in love with his team, but also him. It's his ability to connect with guys, motivate them, and talk about connecting. Kobe Johnson with the emphatic finish. But that is Tang and what makes him special. Why guys want to play for him is his ability to connect with him. Grant, he just knows, has that innate feel for when to push the right buttons in a certain moment. Here's Carter. That's a three! After missing their first six from deep, Kansas State buries one. And Cam Carter had a great summer. They want more from him. He can flat out shoot and score. More of a role player last year, but expected to provide some offensive firepower this year. This is going to be an illegal pick on Joshua Morgan. It looks like Joshua Morgan, as he was setting the screen, was rolling to the basket. And that's a big no-no. Perry trying to get through and extended the elbow, excuse me, right there. One of fouls, a big guy that far from the basket. Now Morgan has to sit. So Morgan sits with his second personal. Man, it's impressive to see the depth that both of these two teams have, especially USC. USC has some players over on that bench. Harrington Page has checked into the game, but Page gets his hands dirty. Six Kansas State turnover. But USC coughs it up right back. That's their fourth. It has been scrappy so far in this first half. Oh, so scrappy right there. USC, the length and how they cover the floor. They can shrink the floor. They help you. They don't leave you on an island defensively. And the activity of their hands forcing in creating turnovers. Kansas State gets it to Kaluma. 
Guarded by Rodman. What a matchup between those two. Kaluma lets it fly. Back rim, no. And the weak side rebound by Collier. Collier to the cup. Puts it down. Nothing about this kid tells you he's a freshman. Yeah, nothing at all right there. That's just special. Gets the rebound, brings the ball down, subvert, surveys the, the, the court, and he just takes advantage of the smaller Cam Carter. And he played football growing up. Isaiah Carter, you can see that, that strength, the physicality, not afraid of contact, but also under control, getting the shot he wants on each possession. Yeah, he credits his court vision to playing safety in football. Talked about the, the coaching staff, the family atmosphere that he was experiencing on his college visit to SC. One of the reasons why he chose the Trojans. And look at what he's done so far already. Scoring, assists. What a start. He's hit four of his first five. Offensive put back that time back to sound one go. And here comes Kali out of the play. Look at the hand that gets it to Ellis. In and out. Kaluma gets him into their set. This is Gasan in the corner. Gasan attacks the cup. And this will be a one and one seventh team foul already against USC. This was Isaiah Collier, 2018 in Orlando. You didn't recognize that tall gentleman in the back row to the left. Was that Adam Silver? <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah Collier, part of that junior NBA. That had to be a, a big experience for the young man, hanging out with you. And... I mean, who knew back then that he was going to become this player? He was in middle school, but he obviously saw the talent then. And... Merge into a fantastic talent has a lot of people excited out there in your neck of the woods, Southern California. Little crossover maneuver. Perry dropping it down, beautifully done as he finds the sign inside. Four point game. So we cross the nine minute mark before halftime. Here comes Collier looking for more. Jump pass inside, but pretty play as he sets up Page. Collier could have laid it up himself, was wide open, but unselfish on that pass and finish. That's Collier's fourth assist already if you've just joined us. As SC builds its lead to a half dozen. Here comes Kaluma. Johnson picks his pocket. Collier behind the back. Rodman. Was Collier a little bit too cute that time? Really, his first ball handling mistake. And how about Tyler Perry getting into the paint? Beautiful ball fake. Two guys were able to bite. Found his open teammate Gasson inside, and then Kaye bumps him off wide open. But sharing is always caring. Finding his open teammate for the easy two. Page was Collier's teammate in high school. What a a formidable duo those two made at Wheeler. I mean, Amy Enfield's been in Atlanta. Talk about <laughs> going to recruit. Arrington Page, Kaye, Brandon Gardner. Cam Carter with a three-point jack. And this Kansas State offense now finally showing some signs of life. Ever since that timeout with Jerome Tang gave him that message. Now yeah, he talked about the offense starting to settle down and find that rhythm. Collier unable to answer. Page on a step back. Oh, Cobra trying to beat him down the floor quickly, but the Wildcats with another turnover. And everyone will catch their breath. Five point game on TNT. Rest right now for his Trojans. We're in a tight one here in this first half. 11 minutes into his college basketball career. Look at his numbers so far. 10 points. He's got the four assists. And Grant, you start to think about what kind of a, a backcourt duo he can form with this guy, Boogie Ellis. Well, he's unselfish. I mean, you've seen him make some passes. He's obviously tried to set up Boogie Ellis for a three in transition. But as they continue to play, have a chance to be one of the top backcourts in all of college basketball. 
You see that time trying to thread the needle. Rodman unable to get it underneath to Kajani Wright. And another turnover in the infield where they look uh, frustration on that bench. I think coaches, college coaches, they always look frustrated. Even when they're up 15, 20 points, <laughs> they're never happy until the game's over and they have a win. They do have that old school mentality a little bit. We had Dana Altman earlier, one of our favorites. Nice swing, weak side. Jones just kind of flicks it up to the rim. Offensive rebound, another chance at it, unable to put it down, and Wright able to clear it. Wildcats get it back to the zone in tight. Three chances at it, and Kansas State finally able to cash in. And it's a one possession game as we cross the seven minute mark. Here comes Ellis, turns the corner, and selfishness inside to Wright, misses point blank. Meantime, Kansas State at this side, starting to catch fire. That was Carter. Perry! Knocked around. Bodies all over the place. Colbert. And it looks like we're going to get a foul here against the Wildcats. It's on Carter. If you're obviously disappointed in this foul being called. Has the ball on the floor, guys are going for it, and you want your guys diving for those loose balls. But right now, these last few possessions, Kansas State is just playing harder. They're scrapping, they're playing with effort, with intensity, and already they have 11 offensive rebounds. So USC, a, a great defensive team, you have to secure the, the rebound. It, on the defensive end, and Kansas State sending three, four guys to the glass every time the shot goes up. So that last number, the 11 offensive rebounds that Grant just alluded to. Good setup as Collier gets it into the corner. That three-pointer won't go from Sellers. Kansas State, if you just joined us, shot three of 19 to start this game. They're three of their last five. That includes the last two misses. R.J. Jones into the game for Jerome Tang at Kansas State. This is Gasson. Out of Perry. Eight to shoot. Perry's pass deflected by Ellis. Kaluma. Back to Perry. Too much. Look at Gasson get his hands dirty. Another offensive rebound. Jones. Top down. It's going to be a loose ball foul against Jarrell Colbert. As SC just can't seem to control its defensive glass. And right now, Kansas State shooting 22% from the field, 15%, 2 of 13 from 3. But they're getting on the glass. Reminding me a little bit last year of Kelvin Sampson's team at Houston. Not a great shooting team, but just so dominant on the glass. And, and you have to think, I mean, they're getting good looks. They're getting their shots. Obviously, Tyler Perry. Their best shooter has had some good looks, unable to convert. But how they're continuing to compete with the little things is keeping them here in this game. Kansas State last year, you recall, one of the shorter power conference teams last year, but they've added a ton of size. We've already seen Colbert, Kaluma. And boy, if they hit the glass at both ends of the floor in this first half. Season opener for these two teams. Both schools with championship aspirations in their conferences. Look at Collier! Wow. <laughs> you blink your eye, you miss it. What a burst and a finish. He's got a dozen. Gasson poked away. To get it back there with Finister. And they'll reset as we cross the five-minute mark before halftime. It's the call here, an illegal pick. Oh, you're right here, just ISO. Fake the screen on was on his left. One dribble blow by at the rim. I mean, he has a big frame. We look at his strength, but also that quickness and the tremendous read getting to the rim. It's one of the first things that Andy Enfield noticed about him. Obviously, all the talent, but the way he pushes pace, the relentlessness with which he plays. And Fielder said, you can only play as fast as your lead guard. And you're getting an early taste of what this team will look like this season. Corner three from Rodman won't go. Kaluma pulls. 
Well, he had finished and couldn't get it to him. Running back, that's good. And some offense off the bench with Will McNair Jr., the fifth-year senior and Mississippi State transfer. And if the state, when they actually get the defensive rebound, they've been able to run on USC. Special. This young man, Day Day Ames, came from the weak side looking to foul Collier. But he was just too big, too strong. And able to not just absorb the contact, but get the finish in a three point play opportunity. So Collier at the free throw line, a chance at three. Let's check in with Allie. Well, guys, we've seen two back to back impressive finishes, but when I was talking to Coach Enfield, he added to that saying yesterday, he's the best passer he's seen since Jason Kidd out of high school. He said the vision, the creativity with his passing is so impressive. He said he's also learning how to be a leader defensively because we all know he can score. Wow, well, those are big shoes right there. Andy Enfield. Talking about the great Jason Kidd, one of the great point guards. And they have some similarities. Because Jason was a big guy, 6'4", 6'5", strong. And Collier can get it himself, and he can also find his teammates. Fun to watch. Weren't you guys co-rookie of the year? You yeah, I was wild, man. <laughs> JJ Kidd's my guy, but come on, man. Like, <laughs> go back and look at the numbers, man. Still bothers you after all these years. <laughs> the pass. The pass inside! They set the table for McNair. Exquisite pass from Ames. Yeah, Let's see if we get a technical here. I think McNair might have been taunting or just called for a technical. Yeah, what, what a treat. I mean, start the, in, excuse me, the college season on both the women and men's side. We get these great teams, great programs, and LSU, who I, I thought was just going to have a cakewalk to give Colorado credit. How did they win? I mean, they won in dominant fashion. Unbelievable. So it's uh see if this game here can live up to the hype. But I've been impressed. Both teams competing, getting after it, playing hard so early in this season. Will McNair, after the last dunk, was whistled for the technical. So Boogie Ellis was the man shooting the free throws. But Grant, this has been a fun first half. Good energy in this place. Both of these schools have traveled well. Up top, that's broken up. What a play by Kaluma. Nice trying to get it to Page on the lob. Here comes oh. Finister on the attack. Reverse missed it. And this is going to be Hornery on a loose ball foul, I believe. And that last defensive possession, great help side by Kaluma. I don't know. It looked like he might have fouled him, but he came over to help the lob to Page. And Kaluma just able to, to disrupt it, and they're off and running. Andy Enfield wants an explanation. And of course, McNair at the free throw line. Foul was charged to Hornery. Loose ball foul. So it's a one and one, 19 foul against USC. McNair, not a good free throw shooter. But Perry is there for the offensive rebound. They get it to Jones. Misses the floater. Fight for it. And it's tracked down to the corner by Johnson. So we come up on the final three minutes before halftime. What a matchup here in Vegas between USC. Drive and finish right at the cut by Ellis. And then the steal. Whistle here. What's the call? It will be Kansas State basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ellis was not in bounds when he tried to defend. And then it'll be USC basketball. I'll tell you the way that Kansas State has struggled scoring any point here. I beg your pardon, Kansas State will have the basketball and bring it the other oh, way. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes, yeah, makes sense there. But now Kansas State. Who can close these last three minutes going into half? You know the college game is all about momentum. Who can have some stops, execute, feel good about themselves at halftime would be important for the second half. So class B technical needs no personal, by the way, on that play against Dallas, so just a team. As Arthur Karuna misses the driving floater, keeps it alive underneath. And who touched the glass here? USC. 
And, and once again, shooting 25% from the field. Kansas State, but 14 offensive rebounds. <laughs> We're not even through the first half. Shot clock at 11. Perry, the inbounder. Throws into Kaluma. It's a deep three. Short. And another offensive rebound. Jones. Wow. They just can't shoot straight. Loose ball foul. This will be on Kansas State. The Wildcats are 2 of 15 from deep. And on... And on that play right there, USC lucky they called a foul. Kansas State sending three, four guys to the glass. If USC could just secure the defensive rebound, they would have numbers the other way in transition with all of the Wildcats on the offensive glass. Double bonus now for USC as Arthur Kaluma is whistled for his first. The 2023 Hall of Fame is brought to you by Resorts World, your destination for unmatched luxury and entertainment on the Las Vegas Strip. It's time to rule the world. So great to have you with us. T-Mobile Arena, downtown Las Vegas. Bill Adidas, Grant Hill, Ali DeForce. Our producer, Tom Heights. Matt Lip, our director. Rest of our TNT crew. As we open a brand new college basketball season. A lot of teams right now have a lot of hope. A lot of them feel that they can get to the final four this year in Phoenix. There was a lot of optimism this time of year. And, mm, looked like he tried to throw it to Allie on that play. Allie <laughs> still has those good reflexes, but unfortunately not that tall. <laughs> she can shoot it, though. She can't shoot yeah, it. I've seen her shoot it. Impressive. I'm Come always ready the for the box. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Ellis, all the way to the rack as he takes the sound to the cup. So Bobby Ellis in the double digits now. He's got 10. See the USC run over the last two minutes. Their biggest lead now of the night. Sound trying to body up against Ellis. Double team. They work it into the corner to Jones. Beautiful pass. Gasson misses point blank. And that was a great offensive possession right there. Gasson had a smaller guy, backed him down, forced the double team, was swing, swing. The ball got back to him. He just couldn't convert right there at the rim. It's been that kind of first half for Kansas State with their shooting. There's Boogie Ellis, the change of heart to return to USC for one more year as he has his pocket picked here, a strip, and then last touch by Ellis out of bounds. And, and maybe you would have liked to see the ball move a little bit, get a good possession, run your sets offensively. Too much one-on-one -on -one right there for USC. Well, you saw the turnover numbers. Kansas State has more turnovers than they do made baskets. Ellis this steal. What a play by Perry. Well, the officials say last touch by Perry, but what an effort defensively to recover against Ellis. Well, great job both ways. First of all, Boogie Ellis getting in the passing lane, forcing that steal, couldn't quite secure the basketball, and then Perry not giving up, not quitting, active hands, forcing that deflection and saving an easy two. Yeah, I know this is, hasn't been pretty offensively, but we got some real talent between these two teams. Athletes. Already seen Ellis and Collier, but Perry is going to be a, a significant piece for Jerome Tang and his Kansas State team. There's another two shot situation for USC. It'll be Kobe Johnson at the free throw line. And, and I'm not surprised that right now, offensively, both teams are sloppy. So early in the season, first time going against really, you know, top notch caliber competition in a real basketball game environment but the defense has been there both teams have, have really competed on that end and showed some promise if they can just tighten up and get better with the offense with the new faces you know they'll they'll improve on that end for sure let's go back over to Allie well Spiro and Grant just wanted to give a quick update on my Bronny James report we mentioned that he was making progress and recovering well ESPN is reporting as of minutes ago that he's going to get a checkup at the end of the month and if he's clear, he will practice with the intent of returning for game action for USC this season. So all trending in the right direction. Yeah, that's more great news. 
because they will be as cautious as they have to be to try to give him as much time as he needs before he gets back. Hanging layup attempt at the rim that time. Won't go from the Sellers. Kansas State looking to push. This is Jones. It'll Euro step flick up to the rim. No, but he's fouled. With 38.5 seconds left before that time. And Kansas State right now playing in the 12-point hole. And the infield trying to get his lineup set here for the final seconds of the half. And he's got an embarrassment of riches with some of those perimeter players, Ellison Collier. And it's interesting, about three minutes left, I said, okay, who's going to tighten the screws right here? It was about a five-point game, I believe, and USC has, has done that. They're playing good defense, they're getting defensive rebounds, and, of course, getting out, scoring some baskets, and... Appears as though we'll have some momentum here going into half. Kansas State, they just can't buy a bucket right now. You have to think the law of percentages will average out in the second half for the Wildcats. I wasn't a fan of the new season, as are the Trojans from USC making a short trek from Southern California. It's a USC team picked to finish second in the Pac-12 preseason poll behind Arizona. Right, what a fight that is going to be at the top of that conference. Good teams in that conference. Oregon, who we saw earlier today. Certainly throw UCLA in that mix. And his colleague is passed deflected out of bounds with 16 to shoot. Isaiah Collier, if you've just joined us, number one rated recruit in this incoming freshman class in the country. Collier, 15 points, four assists. And six of eight shooting in his first half. As impressive a start as anyone could have thought. No question. Right there, Kansas State went to a little zone, I think, confused the Trojans and couldn't get the ball in. We'll see some of that zone in the second half. Both teams in the double bonus. Shot clock at 10. Ellis here. It's been interesting how they operate their offenses at the end of shot clocks. Ellis takes his own shot. Carries it through. That was impressive. Second triple for Ellis. And Perry with the answer. Knockdown shooter once he gets going. And crazy to think Kansas State, after shooting 25% and a half, they're only down 10. It is a newcomer. What a first 20 minutes of his college basketball career. A formidable tandem with Boogie Ellis. They've taken turns handling the basketball. Interesting, and they do a lot of things similar. But how those two pieces fit, Grant, will uh, be a big determining factor in how far this USC team can go. Or to have success in the college game. Beautiful anticipation there by Tyler Perry getting that steal. But to have success and to win in the, in the college game, you have to have great guard play. And Andy Enfield has two dynamic players that I think can coexist and thrive together this season. Whistle going here off the basketball. They're sitting against the Trojans on Collier. Right there, Collier was bumping Gasson as he was cut into the basket and sort of impeded his ability to get to the basket. But his strength, impressive. Perry started to catch fire in late first half. Here comes Collier trying to Euro step deflected. What's the call here? It'll be a jump ball, says Kip Kissinger. It's deflected back into Collier's hand and the possession arrow gives it to Kansas State. And how about this? Collier, excuse me, Perry was 0 for 8, 0 for 6. He hit that three right before halftime. He hits another one and good defense forcing the turnover on the freshman phenom, Collier. Kansas State has trailed this game by as many as 13 points. But they have cut it to seven here with just over a minute gone by in the second half. Cam Carter lost the handle, collects. There's the defense, Kobe Johnson, one of the top perimeter defenders in the conference in the Pac-12 as Ellis is tripped, dribbling out of the corner. 
talk about Kobe Johnson and his play, younger brother of Jalen Johnson, who's early in the NBA season having a, spectac a spectacular start for the Atlanta Hawks, but his defense I mean, just as good as any defenders I've seen in college basketball, Kobe Johnson. Look at the handle of Collier working against Columa. He's got all that experience on him. And Collier continues to put the pressure on the defense. And I like that. Kaluma taking the challenge. Let me get a piece of this. Lock him up. Two strong physical guys. Just a little too much physicality on that play from Kaluma. And down to Rodman, who's a little bit too strong on the three-pointer. Carter from deep. Splash! Well, Kansas State couldn't shoot straight in the first half. Their lights out to begin the final 20. And just like that, it's a four-point game here in Vegas. Here comes Johnson slicing into the rest. The great drive, a great screen right there from Joshua Morgan. Help side defender couldn't get there to contest. This is Gasson. Front rim glass, no. Banged around, and Johnson rips it away for the Trojans. USC 21 wins in the Pac-12 last season, 14 conference wins. But a uh, postseason that ended rather abruptly. They lost to Arizona State in the Pac-12 tournament opener. And then as a 10 seed, lost in the first round of the big games to Michigan State. And as Boogie Ellis, big part of that team, able to knock it in in tight. And that was a tough make right there by Boogie. Here's the side. Beautiful roll to the point. Carter. Beautiful pass. And you've seen the efficiency stepping up offensively for Kansas State as they come out of halftime. You wonder the adjustments that Jerome Tang or the fiery message he gave them at halftime. And he has said, man, this is going to take time to, for us to figure out who we are. Eight new faces, really a brand new team than the one that we saw go to the Elite Eight last year. As Joshua Morgan is bumped underneath. Right here, Cam Carter just hit a three. Two guys guarding him. Double team. Great pass. And roll to the rim there. And finish inside. Cam Carter will sit. Day Day Ames will check in. Ames gave him some good minutes. A freshman out of Chicago. And the Kenwood Academy. Rebounds. Deflected out of bounds with still 20 seconds to shoot. But this is a brand new game after Kansas State shot 25% in the first half, down by as many as 13. They've hit three of their first four to begin the second half. Aaron Pass, Perry to steal. Beats Rodman to the punch, reverse layup, missed it. Dribbled a little bit too far underneath the glass. Here comes Ellis. Now to Rodman, still looking for his first basket. This is Morgan. Cross the paint, tough shot, wild miss, and Rodman is fouled. As USC trying to get their offense recalibrated here to begin the final 20 minutes. Well, it's been all Collier and Ellis. Others are trying to get going, trying to get involved. Who else is going to step up offensively for USC to help out this tandem in the backcourt? Tyler Perry will sit. 50-year senior, one of the new faces. As he picks up his third personal. Ellis on a launch over the top of Kaluma. And R.J. Jones tracks it down to the corner. Jones, a freshman out of Denton, Texas, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Here he is, three-pointer, misses badly. He wasn't on balance when he took that shot. Collier, dropping it down to Morgan. Just smooth that Morgan there on that drive. Collier getting involved, his team needs it. Here comes Kaluma, turns the corner. Boy, just an exquisite pass. Inside, it's Gazan in the finish. And I like the playmaking ability of Kaluma right there. Finding his teammate, but easy too. 
Well, we didn't have much offensive cohesion from both teams, and certainly not from Kansas State in the first half. What a difference. And they're trying to prove to America that they are better on the offensive end of talking about Collier lighting up the night here in Vegas. And talking about better. <laughs> that kid right there, special. Hassan's going to reset. Three pointer off target for Ames. Collier! This kid has been surgical for USC. A 70 foot pass in stride. And Jerome Tang wants a timeout. Collier right now, Spiro taking over. He can do it on both ends offensively. In his class, a one and done. Now you get a kid like Isaiah Collier. And this team with the experience, Boogie Ellis, the bigs, you know, they have a chance to take another big step. But let me go back to the, hold on, I got to go back to those pictures. 1995-96 <laughs> Bucks team. It was in black and white. <laughs> Come on now. Like, we were like still in the color then. <laughs> it looked like we're back in the 50s. It's back in your day. Come on, today. Tom Heights. Give me a <laughs> picture of color. We just, we just wanted to make you feel old. I mean, I was... I was paying taxes at that point. I was in the league. <laughs> uh, look at Johnny Newman, big dog. And women's team upset on this floor just a few hours ago by Colorado. Terrific men's game to begin the day, Oregon and Georgia. Ducks looking very impressive in their season opener. And how does this one end between number 21 USC up 11 right now against Jerome Tang's Kansas State Wildcats? Carter to steal, to drive, and he's going to shoot free throws. And a nice little adjustment out of that timeout. Jerome Tang comes out with a 1 3 1 half court zone defense, and Boogie Ellis just gift wrapped it that right there to Cam Carter, telegraphed that pass. Carter now will get to the free throw line. Maybe this zone will kind of negate the effectiveness of the guards, Boogie Ellis and, and Collier. Give them a different look. They've had a success scoring, and as Collier goes to the bench right now for a breather. And I like that coming out of timeouts, making an adjustment there. Collier with three fouls, needing to sit. So Sellers replaces him for USC. It's a 10 point game with 14 and change remaining in regulation. Ellis, deep three, got it. And that was great execution. Get the ball to the free throw line, get the wings to collapse, and Ellis wide open. You have to stay attached to him, the best shooter with the Trojans. Just think of how incredible he was to finish their regular season last year. He averaged nearly 23 points over the final eight games. But Granny really struggled in the tournament for a second straight year. That's left a bad taste. But McNair turned back. What a defensive play by Johnson. And then Johnson played. Thought that maybe he was there for the charge. Are they going to count this? Now, Kip Kissinger says no basket. Boy, Johnson first to block, then nearly the charge that he drew. It looked to me like he was there. And just great defensive instincts, and they call a foul on Johnson. So if that's a foul, it shouldn't be a shooting foul. He's in the act of shooting. And the foul was called. Here's Will McNair. Working against Morgan, but hesitation maneuver textbook. Well, how good has he been in limited minutes off the bench? More of a traditional big guy center. Great patience and footwork. And I love a shot fake, which worked right there. Quick answer, Jensen from B. And, and I think he can be that guy. I think he has the, the skill set, the talent to be that third score. Obviously, we know about his defense, but he can shoot it, he can score. It has to be more aggressive in this offense. And suddenly the Trojans have their largest lead of the night. With a 14-point cushion. Hassan puts it in the deck. Strong contact against Rodman. No basket. 
But Kobe Johnson turned him into some kind of three and D player. No matter his defensive prowess. Got a, got a good looking shot right there. Great mechanics. And here on this play, Robbins gets called being a little too physical. Nice finish right there. Obviously, the foul occurred before the shot. Terry. Wildcats desperately needed that one, but they come up empty again. Johnson will get him set. Makes him. Smart pass. Morgan. And very quickly, the Trojans are taking advantage and taking control. The side forceful finish. And great passing right now. Guards finding bigs for easy finishes. Hornery boy, just terrific goal move by USC. Hornery underneath to Morgan playing the high low game. This again shows you the versatility and the depth that Andy Enfield has. Look at Ellis. You cannot put the ball on the floor and turn your back against this Trojans defense. Too many guys swiping and getting steals. Here comes Johnson right into the teeth of the defense too much. And the weak side rebound by Gasson. Here comes Perry. Pass. Underneath to McNair. Left handed finish. A lot of polish to that young man's game as Jerome Tang wants a timeout. Kansas State in a 14 point hole on team. Uh, for great individual performances, and of course, we're getting a treat here with Collier, what he's shown. And just his skill, his talent. I mean, he's, he's special. You know, he's a kid that just. See him, he has an aura about him, and uh, he and Ellis fun to watch and will be fun to watch this season. Good pass. What a pass! My goodness, Ellis starting to dice him up. Hamilton Page with the finish, as we talked about, teammates with Collier in high school, and I'm sure they had moments like that <laughs> a lot throughout their high school career. Expect to have some of those here too this season. This is McNair, wants to face up against Page. Out to Kaluma. Wide open three. That's a shot he's got to hit. And this Kansas State offense once again has gone cold. But Grant, what a day for USC basketball. Number one recruit on the men's side, number one recruit on the women's side, and they are both just playing off the charts. I mean, football, this is a basketball school now, <laughs> USC. It's, uh... Now, been an impressive day for the basketball program, and Boogie Ellis, not just a score, attracting so much attention because of his shooting ability, and finds open teammate inside as Perry and Page getting into it a little bit. Inbound to Johnson, 10 seconds to shoot. Johnson's going to pull. Offensive rebound, Page, and he's turned back by Colbert. Quick defensive recovery. So down 16. Have to make a push here. Johnson again. The defense just incredible as he blocks Perry. Ellis underneath. Page. Anton Page is going to be thinking about that one tonight. Misses right at the rim. But unfortunately for him, the Trojans retain with 20 to shoot. And the talented young man can shoot threes, has good footwork, great skill for a big, and expect him to get better as the season progresses. Johnson! With little hesitation to buy himself the extra moment. And the Trojans build on their lead, now up by 18 points. And I think they call the technical on... So it's on Kobe Johnson. Johnson for chirping after that finish. Bo Boogie Ellis made a great pass right here. Johnson cuts, great awareness, and he finishes there. Beautiful ball fake, and I think talking a little noise. That's a no-no right now. Technical foul call. Perry shooting a free throw. To Jerome Tang rally the troops in front of that Kansas State bench. And Kobe Johnson knows better than that. Terrific performer last year. 
That Pac-12 defensive team, 17th in the country in steals. And Andy Enfield's going to sit him down for a couple of minutes. And think about it. I mean, this extending of the lead for USC is happening with Collier on the bench. I mean, <laughs> Johnson goes out, you bring Collier in. It's just bringing in more and more talent. Andy Enfield, what a special group he has that has potential to do something pretty extraordinary. And the big question is, what does K-State have left? Can they... Obviously down big here, but can they keep fighting, chipping away? Make a dent into this lead, get some momentum back. Ten minutes left. But Caleb Rich has checked into the game for the first time tonight. This is going to be a blocking foul. Boogie Ellis can't believe it. On the drive. And, and they called it after he passed the ball. And it's interesting because a steal right there occurred, but after he passed it, Ellis was there just a little bit late. That's the right call. It was almost a turnover right there. Page, great anticipation. Kansas State gets a second chance. 16 foul. Next one puts the Wildcats in the bonus. Here comes Carter. Tax baseline. Good defense there. And Seller is able to move his feet. Holly, the freshman, back in. Now to Ellis. Up top to Page. And now they'll reset. With their leading returning score from last year. Isaiah Collier, consensus number one overall recruit in the country this season. Ellis, the spin, misses, it's packed up and in by Sellers. Sophomore out of Hayward, California. Baseline hanging jumper, no good from Carter. And we just wonder, Grant, if the Wildcats have run out of steam. But plenty of clock left as Kaluma will come back in here with Ames. And Jones, but the Wildcats need some sources of offense. Yeah, well, they struggled with the offense there in the first half, but their defense kept them in the game. And right now, the adjustments at halftime, USC so much more efficient on the offensive end, shooting the three ball, getting to the rim, unselfish play. And they themselves playing stellar defense as well. So Jerome Tang on that sideline led this Wildcats program 26 wins last year. As we get a turnover here, offensive foul. Third most wins in the history of the program. We see the big dance. And then they proceeded to make that incredible run before finally falling short against one of the Cinderella's of last year, Florida Atlantic. They were exciting, fun to watch. Even the pregame antics and the dancing and music in the locker room. America fell in love with that team. As well as FAU, I might add. What a matchup that was. This is Finister. Out of Ames. Holly hit the deck on the foul. Finister, meantime, had a good look at it. Couldn't put it down. And Kansas State is now 5 for 26 from 3. It's being R.J. Jones in the backboard. And we'll get a timeout. Uchuku, five-star recruit last year, as high as 16 by some of the sites. The tremendous talent and another piece that Andy Enfield hopes to add. He had lower back surgery in the offseason as he tries to get himself back to full strength. Yeah, I mean, he's 7'1", 240, a great talent. The two of them mix them in with this group. They can stay healthy. They got a chance. Any question at that point is how does Andy Enfield find minutes for all these guys? I'll tell you, when you win, it cures everything, you know? And obviously, that's the goal, that's the objective. You have experience, you have youth, size, wing players that can defend, shooting, and all the ingredients. And it looks like Collier stepped out of bounds, so it's a Trojans turnover. And the infield, by the way, who USC signed to an extension was uh, linked to that Maryland opening during the summer. 
And uh, USC's athletic department uh, very quickly made their move towards the end of last year. And that was him up. Smart decision. That's the job that he's done here. What a pass! Ames underneath, able to find Colbert. Right there, Ames just finding a seam there in the defense. One of the few defensive mistakes that USC has made this half, and leading to an easy two. So, 16 point game with still seven minutes left. Kobe Johnson back on the floor. High pass to Morgan. It's an unforced turnover. Here's Taylor Perry, the 50 year senior. Out of Ames. Freshman out of Chicago. Nice in, poked off of his foot. Upward leg and out of bounds. And, and once again, Kobe Johnson defensively causing that turnover. His hands have been everywhere. Deflections, steals, block shots. Loves to play defense. You think you're by him, but he gets in there. Causes that deflection off of Ames. Uh, excuse me, knee right there. Kobe Johnson is one of the best defenders. And a great cut and finish. Kobe Johnson taking contact and a chance at three for USC. And just a beautiful cut right there. He faked the screen on Collier, slipped it, got to the rim, and give credit to Joshua Morgan, the big fella, finding him. Just beautiful execution. To do that with easy buckets and three point opportunities if you're USC. Man, what a player Johnson has become. Junior Milwaukee kid. If you can defend and shoot the way he has tonight, you certainly know he can defend. What a future he's got in front of him. He's playing basketball for a while. Arthur Kaluma, that's a three, not even close. Kaluma started well, but he's quieted down. He's just one for make it one of eight is Kaluma. Let's get more now on Kobe Johnson with that one. Well, guys, we knew that Johnson was an excellent defender. That was established. But Coach was raving about his improved offensive game to me, saying he shot 84% from the foul line. He made some huge threes. He improved his shooting, his playmaking. He said he's becoming more of a reliable player in isolation as well, being able to put the ball on the floor and make the right decisions when he does. He says he's taken a much more expanded role offensively because of it. And that just that, that's the beauty of the college game, you know, obviously really kind of made his mark and gained the trust of his teammates and his coaching staff with his defense, but has worked on his offense and now you know, doing the same, gaining that trust, ready to take a step in that direction and has the, 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 the tools in the toolkit, if you will, to be that third option, that other guy who can consistently give you offensive production without any slippage from him on the defensive end. Perry knocks down free throws. Now, granted, it's a shame sometimes you see some of these players that they leave college so early when they can use an extra year, multiple years of that season and, and experience. Uh, Johnson, case in point, that man has really shown a development in his, in his offensive game. And what a season he's poised to have. Carter misses in tight amongst the trees, and Morgan rips it away for the Trojans. And to your point on that, you know, some people come in and they're not ready to make that jump to the NBA. So in college, just giving you an opportunity to develop, gain your confidence, doing it on this stage. So when you do put your name into the draft, you're ready to not just be drafted, but have success and be able to play over a long period of time. Well, the NIL has certainly yes. changed that dynamic. It really has. It incentivizes guys to stay there. And the landscape in collegiate sports just undergoing an earthquake over the past couple of years. A lot of changes for sure. And what's interesting, a lot of teams this at this point in the season, they're trying to figure out who they are. <laughs> you know, it's beautiful give and go basketball. This is Hornery. Kicks it weak side. Sellers three no offensive rebound. Morgan. Sellers on the attack. Boy, look out. Oh boy. Jarrell Colbert, a nasty spill. My goodness. Didn't look like he was able to brace his fall. Scary looking fall to the hardwood here. Oh boy. 
Worry about his left arm right there, possibly his back, maybe tailbone. But these two right here meeting up high and just getting off balance. Colbert lost his feet. Grant, I don't know how he's back on his feet. It's good to be young, and it looks like, thankfully, he is okay. Is that with me right now? <laughs> Ambulance. You wouldn't see stretcher. me till February. <laughs> till All-Star break. You and me both. <laughs> My goodness. Thankfully, he's okay. So, Sellers at the free throw line. 16-point game. Jerome Tang giving his young man some instruction. Colbert, the redshirt sophomore out of Houston, Texas, by way of LSU. Tang redshirted him last year. So he's got that freaky athleticism, and he's going to gather himself on that Kansas State bench. Might be a little sore tomorrow with a fall like that, but... Isaiah Collier, by the way, has just fouled out. And not the way he wanted it to end, but his collegiate debut, awfully impressive. 18 points, 7 of 9 from the field, 6 assists in 26 minutes. And he, he, showed, he showed us enough tonight. And he will be fun for... USC fans to watch in the Pac-12 this year. Just continue to dominate and dazzle his opponents. I, I, I want to see this team. This, this is early November. I want to see what this team looks like in January. When they get in the season, they start to gel, build that continuity and consistency. Be fun to watch. Number four rated recruiting class, certainly with Collier as the crown jewel, but you add that piece to already what they had here with Boogie Ellis. Again, that decision really started everything for USC. Knowing that you have a player of his caliber coming back. What a team this could potentially be in the Pac-12. They try to erase the painful postseason memories of the last couple of years. That is really a three-point jack. It's a 14-point game with 423 remaining. Ellis doing his dance. Works against the sign. Wild shot. And now Kaluma on a push. Perry well defended. Picks up the dribble. Skips it into the corner. This is Carter. Knocked around the side. Point play. Quick timeout taken by Andy Enfield. And Kansas State showing a heartbeat. 12 point game. And golf where to fit like it's supposed to, but certainly an honor and a privilege to be presented with anything from the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. And I got my. A new jacket. I, I might wear it later. <laughs> Good looking jacket. Did you take the tag off? You gotta pop the tags, you know. <laughs> Grant, you wore it well, but there's an argument that could be made that Candace wore it better. Just Doesn't Candace that, always wear it better? That is true, yes. We had a we had a jacket <laughs> ceremony <need> share. <laughs> for Candace Parker. Who will be wearing a jacket at some point in the very near future. Kansas State continues to make a little push here, and that look on the face of Andy Enfield tells you the story. Trojans thought that they had the game at hand, but Grant, this one ain't quite over just yet. Maybe a three-pointer here for Kansas State. Shot clock at 15 seconds. This is Perry, their lethal three-point shooter. Guarded on the perimeter by Ellis, trying to find some daylight. Inside, the fake, the shot, got it! Right there, Perry determined to get a basket right there. I love his patience. That's a 10-point game. So since Isaiah Collier fouled out, Kansas State has scored seven straight points. More importantly, they've been able to get stops on this end. This will be on the Wildcats underneath. That'll put 
Southern California in the double bonus. It's on Day Day Ames. There's Collier. Highly touted freshman who was incredible tonight, but he's fouled out here for the Trojans. Now Joshua Morgan to the free throw line for two. Morgan just a 55% free throw shooter last year. Couple of big free throws here in the closing seconds. One for two. Hornery offensive rebound. Got a block out in those situations. Especially with a bad free throw shooter like Morgan. Throws the backbreaker a little bit for the Wildcats. Down 11. Dangerous pass. They get it to Johnson. Back rim, no. Rebound tracked down in the corner by Kaluma. Kaluma, the Creighton transfer. Bottled up on the wing. Dangerous pass to Perry. Deep three. Splash! Tyler Perry putting Kansas State on his back. And the Wildcats ain't done yet. Cheap fouls that he picked up. Something that he's got to learn. He can't afford. As Enfield continues to pace in front of that bench. This is the closest Kansas State has been since the 17-15 mark of this second half. When it was 46 to 38. And with the Wildcats having Tyler Perry on their side, young man who was so big in the final moments of games, they've got a chance. Ellis from B. Back win, no. Offensive rebound, Rodman, the fake. Inside, it's Morgan. What a play by Rodman. That was a big time rebound right there. Here comes Carter, baseline bank. And a whistle blown underneath against the Trojans. It's a big time play. The momentum going Kansas State way, but Rodman on the glass. Great anticipation. And then just the patience. Beautiful shot fake. Finds Morgan for the open two. And even he says, ooh, that was a tough possession. Maybe the possession that seals things here for USC. So here's Cam Carter, freshman year at Mississippi State. Junior out of Donaldsville, Louisiana. Last year, 71% free throw shooter. He started all 36 games for Jerome Tang last year. He's a nice player. Hasn't shot the ball well from the field, but he is a player that, like I said, had a great summer. And we're expecting a lift in his offensive production this season. Eight-point game. Wildcats will try to extend this as long as they can. 95 seconds left in regulation. They get it to Ellis, who's bumped. Trojans in the double bonus, so two free throws here for Boogie Ellis. It's on Kaluma. That's his fourth personal. And now Ellis, who's three of four at the free throw line tonight, will shoot two. And that's who you want at the line. If you're in the infield, your leader, your older player here, one of your best shooters, Biggie Ellis. I'm excited he came back. Excited he came back. Had a, as you said, bitter taste in his mouth for how things had ended in the tournament. Wants to come back, be a part of something special. Got a young group that's very talented, so. Ellis is going to play a huge role for those, especially for those two guys on the bench. Particularly as Ronnie gets back in the fold with we'll Collier. Down to 121 left. Like the zone now, they're showing USC. Good pass, they get it to Kaluma. Rodman got a piece. But Rodman making big plays down the stretch for USC. And we come up on the final 60 seconds here in Vegas. Ellis against Perry. What a matchup there between those two prolific scores. Here comes Ellis, makes his move. He's got 20 points, looking for more. Goes Glass! Trying to turn out the lights on K-State. 
22 for Ellis. And Johnson to fifth. Right-handed hammer as he tries to put this one on ice. Here comes Carter. Turned back. It's Morgan. And just a beautiful drive right there. And the concentration over two defenders. And then once again, Kobe Johnson getting a steal out in transition. Easy two. Kaluma misses on the baseline jumper. This is Perry. Now on the wing for Carter. That's good. So an 11-point game with 20.9 seconds left. Inbound to Ellis. And he's bumped on the far sideline. So he'll shoot free throws. Craig, just consider the fact that Andy Enfield could have two potential closers at the end of games. Obviously, Boogie Ellis with his track record. And now Isaiah Collier. A lot of schools don't have one of those guys that they can turn to for a shot at the end of a close game. It's so important, and particularly in the tough matchups in the tournament. We always say guard play so essential. Guards control the game. They get buckets. You have good guards. You have a chance to have success and a chance to win a championship, which we know of Andy Enfield is certainly pursuing with this special group Boogie Ellis tonight 36 minutes 24 points three of seven from deep eight rebounds five assists he has been all over the gym tonight for the Trojans Perry misses badly offensive rebound to Sam they get it to Ames short final six seconds and the USC Trojans will begin their new season with an impressive victory here in Vegas. They do it behind the consensus number one freshman in the country, Isaiah Collier, who is sensational.